Hello readers, my name is Brian Addison and I'm the Associate Editor of the Long Beach Post. We proudly welcome you to our first ever active print edition. We at the Post deeply embrace technology, for we believe that it not only helps with the day-to-day -day tasks of everyday life, but that more importantly, it broadens access to information. That's why we've helped create this augmented reality to not only help you delve deeper into the articles you wish to know more about, but to make it more fun along the way. This month's issue, almost in its entirety, is dedicated to architecture, home, and design, the three elements that make up not only the aesthetic of a city, but also define its environmental, spatial, and playful side. In other words, what makes the physical in Long Beach tangible? Let's explore this month's issue by seeing what articles were chosen and why. Our cover story provided three experts in construction and architecture the chance to talk about their favorite buildings in Long Beach. Though Long Beach has a plethora of iconic structures, the Via Riviera, the Wilmore, the International Tower, just to name a few, these three men opted for building that truly show the array of Long Beach's architectural reach. From Art Deco to Modernism, commercial to residential, all the while providing readers the chance to perhaps discover a building they never knew. Secondly, we explore the work of Grid Alternatives. This alternative energy nonprofit is altering the lives of working families by saving them thousands and thousands of dollars in energy costs by installing solar panels on their home, all for the grand total cost of nothing. Thirdly, we explore the work of two women, Cara Mulio and Jennifer Volland, whose writing has not only helped preserve the richness of Long Beach's architectural history, but is altering the perspective of Long Beach for those who don't live within our city limits. Their first book, An Unexpected Metropolis, explores the entirety of Long Beach's architectural history and is already a bestseller, given that it's in its third printing. Their second book, just release focuses solely on the work of famed post and beam architect Edward Killingsworth, whose style altered California modernist architecture. We truly hope that you enjoy this active edition, and we look forward to providing you each month hereafter with an innovative way to enjoy, explore, and learn more about the city that we all call home. From everyone at The Post, we deeply thank you for reading and watching and we hope to see you again next month.